Level 5, Key Stage 3, Exam Questions. This question is about symmetry. Now a shape will have two types of symmetry. Reflexional symmetry, called lines of symmetry. In other words, if I draw a line across there, that is a line of symmetry because we can reflect in that line and the shape will fit in its own space. It also has rotational symmetry. If you can rotate a shape so it fits in its own space, that's called rotational symmetry. Now before I actually answer this question, I want to look at this point about rotational symmetry. Any shape can be rotated through 360 degrees and fit in its own space, no matter where you put the centre of rotation. Now if the only angle that the shape will rotate through is 360 degrees, then we say it has no rotational symmetry. Or it has rotational symmetry of order zero. However, on the odd occasion, because it depends on the definition, it has been known that this has been called rotational symmetry order 1. It depends on the examination, so you just have to watch out for it. If the only angle you can rotate the shape through is 360 degrees, it has no rotational symmetry. Its rotational symmetry is order 0. But I have known in exams that they've called it order 1. Let's look at this particular question. So let's go through shape by shape. The equilateral triangle has one, two, three lines of symmetry, three lines of reflectional symmetry, and it's a rotational symmetry order three, because there are three angles you can rotate it through. You can rotate it through these three angles, and it will fit in its own space. So, that is shape A, lines of symmetry three, and order of symmetry three also. Let's look at this parallelogram. It's got no reflectional symmetry whatsoever, but it has got rotational symmetry order 2. You can rotate it through these two angles and it will fit in its own space. So it's got no lines of symmetry, no reflectional symmetry, but rotational symmetry order 2. The rectangle's got two lines of symmetry, two lines of reflectional symmetry, and it's got rotational symmetry order 2 because there are two angles you can rotate it through and it will fit in its own space. So the C is going to go in there. Now this is based on an equilateral triangle. Therefore it's got rotational symmetry order 3, those three angles again. But it's got no reflectional symmetry. So it's got no lines of symmetry, rotation symmetry order 3. D goes in there. Now this shape, is what I was talking about earlier. The only angle you can rotate that through is 360 degrees. It's got no rotational symmetry. And it's got no reflectional symmetry either. Although I have seen an exam where they've said that's order 1 for rotational symmetry. Moving on to this one, it's got reflectional symmetry, order 1, and rotational symmetry, order 2, because you can rotate it through, no, it's got rotational symmetry order 0, nearly slipped up there. Because the only angle you can rotate it through is 360 degrees. Interpreting pie charts. These two pie charts are about the surface covered by either land or water north of the equator on the Earth, south of the equator on the Earth. About what percentage of the Earth's surface north of the equator is covered by land? So we're looking at this and we've got to say roughly what percentage of the pie chart is land. Now I would say that this is about 120 degrees and 120 degrees is a third of a circle so the land is about 33 and a third percent. So that is the answer for that question. I won't bother with the third because it does say about. 
about what percentage of the Earth's surface south of the equator is covered by land. So we're talking about this part here. Now if we look at this, I think you'll see that now we have that this is a sixth. 60 degrees. So in other words it's actually half of that answer there. And so we're talking about about, rather than exactly, either 16 or 17 percent would be the answer. Interpreting bar charts. Colour bar charts about male and female teachers. The prediction of the ages of secondary school teachers in six years time. So this is the prediction of their ages in six years time. About what percentage of female teachers will be aged between 40 and 49? So we've got to look at this piece of information on this bar. So we're going to go across here, and because the scale hasn't got any subdivisions, we are doing about, it's not exact at all. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so we'll call that 43, and 50, 60, we'll call that 63. Now in the exam, most definitely always show you working out, because we are looking at a piece of information that's not exact anyway but by showing you working out and also indicating on the graph then I think we're definitely there for the marks about what percentage of male teachers will be aged between 30 and 39 so we're now looking at this piece of information 30 and 39 for the male teachers same thing applies this is 10 let's call that 12 percent and this is about halfway up there, so that's 25%, showing the working out 13% of male teachers are expected to be in that age in six years' time. In each box of sweets, there's a free card, either card A or B or C or D. Each card is equally likely. So we open a packet of sweets and there will be a collecting card in it. And Sam needs card A to complete her set, whereas her brother Jack needs cards C and D. They buy one box of sweets. What's the probability the card is one that Sam needs? Well, she needs card A, and there are four separate cards, therefore her chances are one in four. Always write a fraction. Jack needs two of the cards, C or D, so he's got a two out of four chance, which you should cancel to a half chance of getting the card he needs. The dad opens the box. He tells them the card is not a card A. So he's had a look at it, and he said, it's not card A, so it must be B or C or D. Now what's the probability of the card is one that Sam needs? Well, the chances are absolutely nil, because the card A is the one she wants, and it isn't that. But there are three cards left, and Jack needs two out of those three. Therefore, that's the probability the card will be one that Jack needs. <laughs>